Do you know what the thundering herd problem is and why you need to be careful of the thundering herd problem when you're caching data with Redis? So in this example, I'm using Upstash Redis to cache the requests to this fake database that I have here. So you can see down the bottom here, we're going to fetch all of the users and we're not expecting the users to be cached. Then we're going to do it again and we're going to expect to get these out of the cache. Therefore, our requests are going to be much faster and our load on the database is going to be smaller. Then we're going to wait 4,000 milliseconds and we're going to do it all again. The issue with this is we first put a lot of load in our database and that's sort of unavoidable, but then we wait and we put that same load back on the database. What we need to do to fix this problem is to stagger our cache expiry. So you can see here that my cache is expiring after two seconds. What I need to do is use my random number utility and I'm going to say between 2000 and between 6,000 milliseconds. Let's run this. So we're going to get our first lock back and this takes nearly 4,000 milliseconds. Then we're going to hit the cache. This is going to be significantly faster. And then our next load is going to be a little bit faster because some of the items come out of the database and some of the items come out of our cache. And this means that we don't put that first initial load straight back onto our database.